hello friends uh, most welcome to english advantage online classes uh, friends in this video uh, i will be explaining uh, to you the most important vocabulary uh, for your next forthcoming exam uh, like ibps bank po ibps clerk and ssc cgl exam so this vocabulary i have taken from the uh, last year question paper and some of the vocabulary i have taken from the hindu newspaper uh, that is very very important uh, for your examination uh, in all section of english paper like reading comprehension like close test and like sentence correction so let us see uh, how we can learn all these uh, vocabulary important vocabulary for your exam <coughs> now the first most important word that, that i have taken is grouch now grouch means to keep complaining about something okay voice one discontent uh, ill temperedly or grumble grumble is a good word grumble means to keep complaining grumble this is a very common word and this is appeared in many competitive exam many time grumble okay so it simply means voice one's discontent ill temperedly and grumble now the corresponding synonym for this word uh, are grumble complain grouse and carp now this word is also very important carp or carping carping means to complain carping means to complain or grouch means to complain and if you do not complain you appreciate you compliment and you praise so these are the antonym for this word grouch <coughs> now let us see the example sentence uh, for this word the example sentences are there is not a lot to grouch about okay there is not enough to complain about this is what the sentence uh, want to say sorry i am a grouch uh, what can we do this tomorrow okay i am complaining i am grouch but i am requesting can we do it tomorrow <coughs> so this is the meaning of grouch grouch means to complain now let us look at the next word homily as you can see in the picture uh, homily means a religious discourse which is intended primarily for spiritual education uh, rather than doctrinal uh, instruction or a tedious moralizing lecture so homily means a discourse a religious discourse for spiritual education okay sermon this is also a good word sermon lecture talk speech discourse and declamation declamation means also speech declamation or discourse and oration this word is made from orator orator is is, is the person who speaks or the kind of speaker is called orator okay oration now let us look the, uh, look at the antonyms conversation and praise conversation and praise are the antonym for this word homily uh now let us look at the example sentences my father gave me a homily yesterday about doing my homework he gave me a lecture he preached a homily on the importance of kindness he gave a lecture on the importance of kindness she delivered her homily about the need for patience okay so homily means sermon or discourse uh, particularly for spiritual education rather than for moral teaching now let us look at the next word fulsome fulsome is uh, fulsome be, means something that is over generous or something immoderate something that is not moderate or average is called fulsome or over generous or excessive in quantity okay as you can see here a uh, complimentary or flattering uh, to an excessive degree complimentary or flattering to an excessive degree or uh, it has another meaning of large size or quantity or abundant okay generous or abundant over generous immoderate excessive effusive this is a good word effusive okay and uh, lavish liberal generous extensive and profuse so in whole this uh, list profuse is very important word and immoderate also so fulsome means uh, excessive <coughs> now the antonym for this word are reasonable and sincere if you are not flattering if you are sincere you are reasonable okay so the opposite of excessive is reasonable now let us look at the example sentence the press is embarrassingly fulsome in its appreciation towards the prime minister and the second one is the fulsome details of the whole tragic incident have been published in the hindu newspaper so quite self explanatory sentences i have given here and you can see the picture also uh so i can read uh, this one caption the woman's fulsome shopping spree angered her husband okay 
she did a lot of uh, uh, lot of shopping or excessive shopping so that is why she angered her husband and here also you can see this picture this is these books are excessive uh, so he is reading fulsome books so fulsome means excessive now the next word is garner garner means uh, gather okay or to collect something especially information or approval so garner means to gather or to collect especially information or approval as you can see in the picture they are collecting uh, they are collecting and uh, they are collecting the grains and they are taking out uh, vegetable from the field so garner means gather collect accumulate amass and assemble okay and now this word is also very important amass means to accumulate or gather means to collect okay and the opposite of this uh, these words are disperse and scatter okay so garner very important word and you must have uh, heard uh, one more word that i am going to tell you that is granary okay granary is a place where you where you collect all the grains or where you keep all the grains like wheat and rice after taking it out from the fields okay so granary is a uh, collecting place so by linking the garner with granary uh, and by collecting uh, by connecting the garner with gather you can link this word and you can remember this word now let us look at the example sentence <coughs> the police struggled uh, to garner sufficient evidence of the death mystery okay quite self explanatory you must garner all the necessary information uh, before starting this project you must collect all the information before starting of this project so garner very important word now the next word is hum drum hum drum if you play the drum continuously it's going to be quite boring okay hum drum so hum drum is something that is very monotonous very tedious very boring very prosaic or very unexciting as you can see in the picture they are getting bored uh they are getting bored in the classroom okay uh because there may be a dull uh, history lecture just see this picture he is getting she is getting bored and she is she is also getting bored so humdrum means something that is monotonous that is not exciting or that is boring okay monotonous means if you do uh, same kind of thing over and over again it's going to be very boring for you so here mono means single okay m o n o mono is the root word of english uh, that means sing, uh, single so if you do the same thing or single thing uh, 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 again and again it will become quite boring for you okay so you can remember this word uh, by this trick and run of the mill run of the mill means quite ordinary quite boring and quite routine run of the mill it's a it's an idiom and here many words i have taken mundane is very important word mundane means boring or routine and banal also very important word so i have taken many word here and interesting is the antonym for this word i do not like humdrum routine of his work okay nobody likes it's very very routine very boring and uh, the tv new channels treat this as humdrum unless it involves some celebrity or unusual feature okay unless you include some some celebrity in your tv program it is going to be quite boring that is why all tv channels include and call uh, uh, stars and celebrity uh, sometimes sachin tendulkar sometimes uh, sada bachchan sometimes shilpa sethi in their programs just to just to avoid the humdrum or just to avoid the boringness or the monotonous monotony so humdrum means a uh, very very boring or routine something very boring or routine now the next word is jaded jaded means tired uh, okay jaded means tired bored or lacking enthusiasm typically after having too much of something since you have seen or since you have experienced too much of something you feel very experience you feel very jaded or tired okay it has become quite boring for you and some more word i have taken here uh, uh, synonym for this word glutted glut means plentiful glut okay cloyed and gorge and uh, surfeited surfeited is also very important and satiated <coughs> okay satiated shati satiated means satisfied and insatiated means not satisfied word weary the person who is who is getting bored of uh, the different things in word because he has already experienced and he has had too much of something 
so cynical means skeptical burnout bored okay exhausted lack luster the person who is lacking enthusiasm so these are the synonym for this word jaded and antonym for this word are reinvigorate reinvigorate and energize reinvigorate and energize are the correct antonym for this word jaded uh these meals are good enough uh, to tempt the most jaded appetites okay if you are tired if you are tired if you are bored of different kind of foods these meals are good enough to tempt your appetite okay now the next one is it can reinvigorate the jaded players and motivate them to win again so jaded means kind of tired or bored now the next word is irate irate if you are irated you are very very angry you are very infurious okay and if you are if you are very angry it is also called incensed now let us see the meaning here feeling or characterized by great anger very angry incensed furious okay furious fury means anger or rage also means anger so enraged and furious enraged and furious fuming incandescent incandescent is also a very good word incandescent cross if you are cross with someone you are angry with that person seething so many word i have taken here and uh, calm and composed these will be the opposite of this word so if you if you watch this video from beginning till end and till uh, uh, multiple times if you watch this video you will definitely grasp all the basics and all all these important vocabulary so i am irate over the suggestions of a national rescue fund to bail out home buyers uh the next nice, next one is this article gives some uh, some great tips to help you deal with those irate parents i have got a barrage of irate letters from her mother barrage means multiple letters okay so very important sentences uh irate means anger to be uh, to be highly angry a uh, lucrative if something is lucrative it's very very uh, profitable for you maybe it's a business maybe it's a it's a business idea maybe it's a job so anything that gives you profit is is very lucrative okay something that produces a great deal of profit is called lucrative profitable uh, profit making gainful uh, remunerative money making well paid so these are the words that are synonym for lucrative and harmful and unadvantageous these are the antonym for this word now let us look at the example sentence now a days you can make a lucrative career as a stand up comedian definitely you can make a lot of money out of this a uh, stand up comedian like uh, kapil sharma and raju srivastava they are making lot of money uh, from this business of a stand up comedian some businesses can be highly lucrative if done properly definitely they can be highly prop uh, highly lucrative if they are done properly and with planning and strategy now the next word is galvanize so galvanize uh, imply two meanings the first one is to stimulate someone to electrify someone to incite someone okay and to invigorate or kind of provoke someone but provoke is used in a negative sense if you make somebody angry you provoke him okay so the correct meaning is stimulate someone to do something and the another another meaning is related related with the science coat iron of steel with zinc okay coat iron or steel with zinc uh, this is also called uh, galvanization and uh, the antonym of this word are demoralize demotivate dissuade deter or hinder okay stop somebody from doing something or discourage or dishearten or dampen so these are the antonym these are the antonym of this word galvanize now let us look at the example sentence galvanized metal is covered with a layer of zinc uh, a, a blue white metal to protect it from being damaged and the next one is there are uh, these are the drugs to stimulate or galvanize uh, the production of hormones so galvanize is a very good word and uh, the similar kind of word is vandalize if you vandalize you kind of intentionally destroy or damage public or private uh, property okay uh, as during the rights as you can see in the picture these people are damaging this car and uh, you know you they are creating lot of chaos uh around so vandalize means to kind of damage okay damage wreck smash up sabotage this is a good word spoil and deface 
and build, construct, fix, mend, repair, aid and assist. So these are the antonym: build, construct, fix, mend, repair, aid and assist. So these are the antonym. Now let us look at the example sentence. Terrorist camps and stations of Pakistanis have been vandalized beyond recognition by the Indian army. They have been damaged. Okay. And the next one is men who apparently wanted to vandalize an exhibition of Hussein, that is Makbul for the Hussein, portrait used an axe to break break into an art gallery. So vandalize means to damage something. Okay. So these ten important words I have taken in this video uh, tutorial. Let let us let us revise those words once again. Vandalize uh, means to damage. Galvanize means to stimulate. Lucrative means very profitable. Irate means very angry. Jaded means tired or bored of something. And humdrum means very boring and very monotonous. Garner means collect or gather. Fulsome means excessive or over generous. Homily means sermon or discourse and grouch means to complain or carping. So these 10 words, I have taken very important words. Uh, I am 100% sure you must have learned these words and you can apply these words in your exam for your success. Now you can revise these words. Uh, some other words I have taken here and I have given the answers also. So you can give it a pause and you can revise all these important words. Equanimity means calmness. Okay, pass is something that is antiquated, that is old. Perry is something, perry means to escape or ignore or dodge. Cogent means convincing. Cogent means convincing. Indigent means destitute or poor. Okay, converge means to meet. Sensorious means sensor-like, like, like critical. Okay, conjecture are guesses. And condone means ignore. And... Uh, Emendation means correction or rectification. Now this is the second part of revision. Vandalize uh, means uh, damage. Concede means uh, to admit that you are defeated. Galvanize means to stimulate. Grouch means to complain. Okay, abjure means uh, give up something formally. Soporific something that that makes you sleep. Apposite means uh, suitable or apt. Okay. Trepidation means nervousness or fearfulness. Renegade means defector or traitor. And persecute means to annoy. So these are the words, very, very important word. You must have learned uh, many words and it's going to be very, very useful for your exam. So these are my links. I will be providing all these links in my description box below. Uh, from there, you can, you can join me on different uh, websites, on different uh, like Facebook. Uh, like you can join English Advantage group on Facebook, you can WhatsApp, uh, you can join my WhatsApp group. You can save this number 9893719933. You can save this number. And if you want to join the WhatsApp group, you can send me your name, your location. Uh, I mean, where do you belong to? And just write add me and I will be adding your name in that group. And you will keep on getting all the notifications regarding all the exams. So if you have found this video useful uh, for your exam, uh, please like it, share it uh, with your friends and do send me your comments because your comments are very priceless for me. And if you are the first timer on this channel, do not forget to subscribe. Kindly do subscribe if you want to get all the notifications regarding the uh, latest uploads and latest video tutorial, uh, completely exam oriented video tutorials. And so do not forget to subscribe and kindly join us. So thank you very much uh, for watching this video and I wish you all the best for your bright future. Thank you.